Once you're logged into Canva, go ahead and select Presentation. And from there, you will want to search by the specific holiday. I found that doing uh, the generic term of holiday does not result in this uh, as many template options than using the specific holiday that you want to use. So I'll go ahead and choose Christmas. The thing to remember with Canva is not all the templates are free. So if a template is free, the word free will appear in the bottom right hand corner of the template. If it does not appear in the lower uh, right hand corner, then that template is only part of the pro subscription. I will go ahead and select this option here and all of the templates have a different number of slides available on them but most of them are at least 10 pages long you can select individual pages to add or just do all pages at once I prefer that option because then I can decide much more quickly and easily which options I want you can also move the different pages up or down and for any page that you decide you don't want you can just delete that page. You'll notice on this example all of the pages already have a little bit of animation on them and you can change the text very easily. Just click inside the text box to make changes to the text as you need it. This particular template is based on a company giving thanks to clients, uh, but that doesn't really matter because you can modify the text really easily. If this is something that you want to upload to a streaming server, then you have a variety of different options. You can choose download and save to your computer and then upload. Canva also has a variety of share options, so you can save it on Canva and just share the link or you can share to a variety of different online uh, platforms like LinkedIn or embed in a web page or blog post. Uh, you can even print <laughs> if that's something that you want. I will go ahead and download to show you that uh, the default for more than one slide will most likely be MP4 for video. That is recommended because it will be a large file. If you save it as a GIF, that is will become an extremely large file and will not be really easily distributed. So if you are using only one slide then or one page of the animated presentation, GIF is a really good option, but anything more than one page, uh, MP4 video is the best option. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and download. Once it's done processing, it will prompt you to save the document. As you can see here, the size of the video for approximately 12 pages is just under four megabytes so it's not a huge file but it's not re really small either and as far as the length of the video a 12 page presentation will download to approximately one minute long and certainly if you want to make modifications you can import this into a video editing application to modify the length add voiceover narration or import video if you or import music if that's something you'd like. So that was a quick demonstration on how to create an animated holiday card with Canva.